All right, I'm going through uh, just literally thousands of uh, reference photos that I've collected over the years. Um, also, I've got literally uh, several thousand pictures I've taken of Indian models and uh, back in the early 2000s. And I'm going through those trying to stimulate my creative uh, juices, so to speak. I thought I'd share a video from the past today, and um, it's from July 24th, uh, 2017. I was putting the finishing touches on the uh, clay of Approaching Storm, and it's a beautiful piece. It turned out in wonderful. I've sold several copies of it in bronze since then, but I thought you might enjoy this, and I'll uh, come back after the video with a few other things. So, I hope you enjoy the video. Time to play with some clay. to finish it up uh, for the foundry which I'm going to take it to tomorrow it's got just a little bit more work on I got tail I got the main um, trying to decide what I want to do the other horse's leg is bent this one isn't No, I'm just going to finish it. it. I can't have both horses doing it. It's almost exactly the same thing. So, uh, all right, I'm going to work on the uh, mane and the tail, and then I'll be back. Okay, using these uh, calipers that were sent to me by uh, a friend in Texas, I've uh, plotted out the uh, stripe on the blanket. Um, it's, it's a Hudson Bay blanket or a trade blanket. Um, and uh, so what I'm going to do right now is put a different texture where the stripe will be. The stripe would be black and the blanket might be green, uh, kind of a forest green or it might be a gray. It's just a uh, trade blanket. Now, if I do this a uh, traditional patina, this will show a little bit of a difference in color because of the uh, changing of the uh, texture. It just gives it a different uh, look. Yesterday I got a email from a person who bought my DVDs, my instructional DVDs, and he asked me, why are you giving away information that I'm paying good money for? I had no answer. I've been doing it for so long, I just uh, never really thought about it. So, I guess in the future I'm going to have to do little segments of video, show me working on things, but without, you know, giving away the farm, so to speak. 
and he really has a point. I mean, people pay good money to take a workshop with me, and uh, why do that if uh, everything I'm going to show them how to do, I can do, they can see for free on YouTube, and it's the way I make my living. And, uh, they all got a point. So, I guess in the future I'm going to show less of what I'm doing and just showing you highlights without, so to speak, giving away the farm. I don't like doing that because I've enjoyed sharing my knowledge with everybody for free, but people who pay for this stuff have a, have a right to know that what they're paying for is exclusive to them. So from now on, if you see something that you, uh, find interesting and want to know more about how to do it, you might have to spend a little bit of money and get one of my instructional DVDs. It's just the facts of life. i got to pay my bills, and if I can't, then I can't be on internet, and if I can't be on internet, you won't see anything. So, I hope you all understand. I'm very sorry, but uh, it's just the way it's going to have to be in the future, I suppose. But for those of you who aren't interested in sculpting and just want to see what I'm doing, you'll still have that opportunity. All right, I'll be right back. What I'm doing right now is uh, the Indians would tie a rope around the jaw of uh, the horse, and uh, all I'm doing is adding now this one would be a double rein, in other words it would be a loop uh, rope on, attached to this uh, mouth rope. And I just went in and checked my reference. I've got a picture of uh, Michael Terry, or Bad, Michael Badhand, and uh, All I'm doing is taking that and attaching it to his hand. Best I can. to move up and if you remember I had to reconnect that hand so or the arm I'm gonna cut off the uh, thing I want to make it look like it's going through the hair of the horse Now, they won't cast this rope. They will use this as a guide for making a rope out of a twisted uh, bronze wire that will be, it'll look just like rope, except it'll be bronze. Got a 
photograph of Michael in uh, the Little Bighorn River. Pulling back on his horse just like this. This will be the last thing I do before, well actually I got some filling in to do underneath this uh, strap here. Actually, I wonder if it would be better to have the wind catching that rope. There we go. That'll show them pretty much what I want. All right, I gotta hit this with a some lighter fluid to soften up the uh, lines a little bit, where they need to be softened, and uh, clean up areas that need to be cleaned up. finish this piece and I'll combine it with the other one and get it ready to be delivered to the foundry tomorrow. ready to put it together. signing this, but uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I might take this screw and use it to sign. The signature I'm making here is one I came up with back in high school, back in 1964 and 5. It has, it reflects that period, it's a kind of a, a uh, hippie type lettering that I came up with back then. It was popular and I've stuck with it. All right, let's take the excess clay off. Put my copyright. That's good for my lifetime and for 50 years after I pass away. Being that I'm 71 and going on 72, that's pretty cool. Alright, I can't remember what the edition number is. I'll put that on tomorrow. All right, that's a uh, approaching storm. 
signed and finished. I'll do some touch up at the foundry tomorrow, but uh, basically it's done. I gotta find out from them before I finish it up uh, what exactly I need to do to finish it up. Uh, I got the reins on it, the uh, sculpture's finished, and uh, I'm, I'm totally happy with it. Totally. I love the way the tails turned out. And uh, I'll take uh, my lighter fluid with me to the foundry just to touch it up if I need to at the foundry. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. Here's our pictures of uh, that finished bronze, uh, just in case you're curious. Uh, when I get done showing you these, I'll kind of show you what I'm trying to come up with as far as an idea. I'm doing a, some sketching here. I don't normally sketch out before I start something, but I felt I got a sketch pad that I never use, and I figured why not use it. So, <clears throat> I don't know how soon I'll be back in my studio, but um, I'll try to make it as quickly as I can. I haven't got the best light in the world for my studio, but, uh, or not my studio, but where I'm scutching here in my uh, upstairs uh, office. But uh, I'm just trying to come up with some ideas for horse movement in case I do a horse. I'm not, I'm just, what I'm doing is just trying to stimulate whatever ideas I've got formulating in my head. And right now, there are not too many of them. <laughs> anyway, I don't uh, draw tight drawings. I scribble. I have a hard time drawing realistic only because my brain sees everything in three dimension. And I'm scribbling the movement of... Uh, what I'm seeing. Anyway, I'm just uh, continuing on trying to come up with some kind of an idea for what I'm going to do. And I'm just sketching ideas or just sketching, just trying to stimulate the uh, imagination, the uh, whatever it takes to get my creative mind working here. I don't draw a lot for good reason. <laughs> I don't draw very well. Anyway, I'll continue on drawing here and uh, seeing what I can come up with. Just moving. I'm just drawing movements.
<laughs> yeah, that, that's going to work. Not a bad movement, though. All right. Good night, everybody. I'm going to continue scribbling. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.